I thought we got off to a tremendous start tonight. I was really pleased with, uh, with our energy. Uh, five veterans in the starting lineup and uh, really set a great tone uh, for the opening of that game. And um, uh, I thought our new guys came in and, and handled, uh, handled the nerves, handled the moment very well. And um, uh, as the game played out, we, we, we made some mistakes. I was, I, I was OK with all that. Uh, we'll clean that stuff up. What I'm trying to work on is, is, is maintaining a, a consistent work ethic, a level of play that's, that's got some intensity. Uh, anytime I look down, we, I see 29 turnovers. Uh, I see holding our opponent to eight assists. That, those are st stats that are extremely important to me. Um, and then I look down and I see you know points in the paint for us, 54. Um, we were 93rd percentile in the country last year in points in the paint. There's a lot of ways to score in the paint without a postman. Uh, and then, um, you know, off turn, points off turnovers was, was, was good. And uh, uh, we've got to do a better job. We left a lot out there, missed layups uh, there in the first half. But, uh, um, you know, you, you, um, we didn't run great offense. We weren't clean, but, but we'll clean some of that up. And then defensively, some, most of this is on me because I have, we haven't spent enough time covering back screens. Uh, Rescreens, um, and that's that's on me. That's uh, that's not on them. And they, and and Kevin threw a lot of those at us tonight. Questions for coach? Is that what you're looking for in, in terms of effort, Brad? Yeah, I like the effort. I, you know, we we still have a tendency to 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 not understand defensive spacing. Uh, I thought we were really good early because when we made mistakes. Um, we helped the helper, and and we covered for that. And uh, I thought we made it really difficult on them to try to get the ball, um, you know, into off into an offensive area. Um, effort can do that, and uh, I, I hope that's something that we've been preaching. I hope our guys were able to see that. Um, we had a lot of work to do. We left a lot out there in terms of deflections, in terms of not allowing catches, but but the effort was good. Coach, was your first game out there? What was it like? Well, I've always, you know, I don't know if people understand how much I, I revere Mr. Iba and, and, you know, playing for Jack Hartman and knowing what he taught and to coach in this building, even though it's an exhibition, you know, I, I was, I was, you know, I'd, I'd, I don't want to say butterflies, but I mean I was I was pretty excited, and 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 that's such a great feeling to walk out there and 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 you know I, I guess I'm in awe of some of that. If that sounds silly, so be it. But uh, uh, then when the game starts, then you're you know you're you're into a different mode. But uh, yeah, it was a great feeling. Coach, what did you think of the uh, atmosphere in the arena tonight? I know a lot of the practices we've been to, you've been asking the fans to you know, come out and support. There have been a lot of efforts made. What did you think of that tonight? You know what? I, I didn't pay attention that much once we get going. I, you know, I think, it's, I, I think that, that uh, um, we've got something really special here in this arena. And I got a little taste of that on Friday night with – 13,000 in here, and uh, how loud this place can be. Uh, it, was, it was an exhibition, and you know it was uh, it was a game that easy to easy to uh, stay away from. We have to get our students, and I appreciate those who who came. Um, they're going to make this they're going to make this program uh, great again. And, and we're going to work hard to, to, to help them, but they're going to make it great because they're going to make it appealing for recruits to come here and be seen on TV. And um, next Friday is the big one. That's the opener. 26 assists, I think 14 on 20 field goals in the first half. Did you like the ball movement, especially from the veterans? Yeah, it was, it was um, you know, Kevin's team plays so hard, and they, and they get up in the passing lanes, and, and we see that every day. Uh, so I think it helped us a little bit. Um, I was really pleased with it with 
with Juwan not even a factor. And uh, then Brandon, you know, picked up two. And, you know, that's the new cylinder rule. But um, uh, I don't want that to happen very often. But, you know, I thought Phil did a great job. And I think everybody got involved. And, and, and we, we moved the ball. And when you move the ball, you force the defense to make mistakes. And, and we got some easy opportunities off that. So uh, our, 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 you know, I, I talk about the pass too much, probably. But um, sharing the basketball is a very, very contagious thing. And it's something that makes, uh, makes you very hard to guard. So I'll take those numbers uh, anytime. The assists or the turnovers were too high. And we're not going to, we can't, we can't live with 15 turnovers. But um, 26 assists, we'll take that every single night. Lindy looked pretty comfortable from the get go. Lindy's, uh, Lindy's really good. And I mean that in a in every every sense of the way. And I don't want to put any pressure on a freshman, but uh, uh, I was really excited for him tonight to see how his how his temperament and his pace was. Usually freshmen get sped up in the game, and I don't mean sped up physically. I mean sped up in their in their in their head. It, it the game plays out fast for him. Lindy plays with unbelievable tempo and unbelievable pace, and and. His IQ is very high, and, and uh, he's just going to continue to get better as, as he gains confidence. And uh, uh, you know, pretty solid night from uh, from him on on the first time in in, in, a, in a Cowboy uniform. Is that right? Good for him. He's so skilled. He really is. I mean, he he's a guy that that may at different times play four positions for us this year, and uh, you know he can play the point. Uh, he's such a good passer. Uh, I've got a lot of confidence in, in, in his abilities to, to make plays for others as well as for himself. Coach, you had you know, three freshmen in double figures. What was just your thought on the overall freshman class tonight? It's a good start. Uh, they can't think it's this easy all the time. Uh, we'll bring them back to reality on Thursday with that stuff. But uh, I think that any time you uh, – uh, feel like you can count on those guys, we're going to be a deep team. And, and their growth is, is, going to, is going to be determined you know, in, in, re, in reality about how successful we can be. We've got to be able to go count on those guys. And they've got to perform. And you know, I thought Cam, um, you know, especially in the second half, was terrific. He's, he's a high motor guy. I made some plays defensively and got on the glass. Um, and I thought Brandon, you know, after his couple quick fouls settled in and, and did a nice job at the point for us so um, you know that we're, we're Thomas Dejagua is a, is a tremendous shooter I wasn't very pleased with him in the first half but uh, it was better in the second and, and that's to be expected you get to play against your uh, old uh, Kansas State roommate there coach Muff uh, what was that like seeing him across the uh, across the way from you all night long? well he's a dear friend and uh, um, you know, I've said many times I'm not a b really big fan of playing friends, but um, the opportunity to, um, you know, help their program, uh, the opportunity because I to help our program because I knew his team was going to battle and they were going to fight. They were going to try to run really good offense. I knew it would be a great challenge. They're disciplined, and and they're a team that uh, has the ability to make make a bunch of shots uh, if they get going. Uh, they're without their best player. Um, you know, they had a young man that uh, uh, was an all is an all league player that is out with a shoulder injury. Um, they get him back. That's going to be a very very good basketball team. And um, uh, you know, in the MIAA, they're going to challenge people uh, every single night. You didn't want to get too complex tonight. So what's the goal in the next ten days between now and the opener? Well, I think we've got to make some. We've we've got to add some things. You know, it's uh, uh, you know we've we've spent very little time on zone offense. We've spent uh, uh, very little time uh, on any situations. Uh, I think we you have to practice situations. I think you have to become comfortable in them. Uh, and obviously, we got to learn to handle some screening situations, uh, especially ball screens, a little better uh, than we did tonight. But uh, you know, we'll add a few things. Uh, you know, we'll see how it goes here early. We, you know, Campbell last year ran a lot of uh, Princeton type stuff. Uh, the way we guarded tonight, that'll cause us some problems. And uh, uh, so we've got to we got to be dialed in a little better and, and and a little sharper. 
What'd you like about your uh, veteran leadership tonight out there on the floor? Leighton walked in and his voice was gone. He said he'd been yelling a lot tonight. What'd you, uh, what'd you think about the uh, veteran guys out there? It's energy, it's emotion, and uh, quiet teams never win. They don't. Quiet teams never win. And um, it, it's, we still have to learn to uh, increase our energy level. And, and they've got to understand that that's every day. You know, we're not going to play every game in this building and have energy provided for us. Uh, so uh, I like it. Uh, you know, we're, we're getting there and we're getting better. I thought Phil was tremendous tonight on the court. Uh, best I've seen him at, at, at any point. And a uh, little uncomfortable night for Phil, I think, probably playing a little more point than we had hoped, but um, but I, I was I was really happy. I was really uh, uh, I was really excited with Mitchell. I thought Mitchell did a great job of of pointing and talking and and communicating. And, and we have to take, we have to get that from those guys. What was uh, Phil's mood like before the game? This is like his first game in almost a full calendar year. He's pretty amped. He was pretty amped, and and uh, you know he had to kick some rust off, and and so did Juwan. You know it'd been a year. Uh, for those guys, for Phil, and you know, eight nine months for for Juwan. So uh, it was important for me to try to get them minutes. I wanted them to be in the twenty to twenty two minutes, um, you know, right in that area tonight. Um, and they they didn't play together much, but they need to play together. And uh, that'll be the that'll be the nice thing about our scrimmage on on Saturdays. We can we can get them dialed in and and, and play off each other a little bit together. You're good. Thanks, guys. Thank you.